Hey guys, today we're going to be torture testing some more body armor. Uh, it's going to be the first time I'm filming it. In the past, as you can see, I've torture tested some metal armor, but this is going to be the first time we're going to be testing ceramic armor. Uh, this is uh, level 4 plates from uh, Mirror Tactical. It's NIJ rated for stop up to 30 odd 6 M2 armor piercing round. Uh, we're definitely going to be putting that to the test today. Also, an additional uh, point about this armor is it's meant to stop multiple projectiles before failing. I know a lot of uh, ceramic armor will typically fail or begin to fail after one or two shots. Hopefully this survives more than just one or two shots, but we're gonna definitely see. I got a bunch of different calipers we're gonna test against it, and I got some uh, spicy loads we're gonna test up after. Um, before we get into that, I'll have, show you what happened with previous armor. Um, this armor play specifically is from an AR-500 Armored Republic. Um, this is a level three plus steel plate. So as you can see on here, right above this hole, got a little divot there. That was the standard just mill serp um, 762 NATO round. Did no damage, left no dent on the back. However, you can see there is a hole through this. Uh, that hole right there is from uh, some 308 silver tips. Yes, YouTube, uh, silver tip. Totally not armor piercing. Totally not incendiary. And we're gonna leave it at that. <laughs> um, over here, we also have a plate from Spartan Armor Systems. This is a standard um, level three plate. As you can see, we shot a couple different calibers at it. This little mark right here was just a standard uh, 556 uh, full metal jacket, left a tiny little divot. Uh, you can actually see on this armor right here, this hit was from 762 NATO. Actually left quite a bit of a divot left a little bit of a bulge on the back of the armor plate, which is surprising because on the AR-500 plate, we didn't see any of that. Um, then right here on the bottom left and right, as you can see, uh, that was more of our uh, 308 silver tip. So, went right through. So we're gonna go ahead and start testing out these ceramic plates and see what they got. So to start off, we're gonna start off pretty small. We're gonna start a 22 long rifle. I have this Glenfield Model 60 here. All right, so taking a look at this, you can see that the 22 round pretty much just splattered off right here. It actually did crack the ceramic a little bit, as you can see. Kind of surprising other than that. No damage, no bulge. We're gonna step it up next to the next caliber. All right, we're gonna step it up a little bit for one more pistol caliber. This one's gonna be 9x19 Parabellum out of this MP5 clone. So we're gonna see what this one does. <laughs> So you can see, I shot just above our 22 hole about right here. It actually caused quite a bit of damage. Looks like it took out this little chunk of ceramic tiling right here. Other than that, no penetration, just feel a slight bump right there, but nothing serious. Uh, time for rifle cartridges now. All right, so for our first rifle caliber, we're just gonna go small, standard uh, 5.56, 55 grain, uh, this 18 inch AR-15. Uh, shoot it from about 10 15 yards or so just make sure we don't miss we'll see if this does more than the pistol does <laughs> all right so see i shot just below original 22 hole so we're definitely making a mess on this side of the uh, armor there got kind of a whole open cavity right inside there probably gonna start having to shoot the other side of this target on the back, uh, decent bulge right here. Bulges in maybe about a half an inch, three quarters of an inch into your target. You definitely would have felt it, but no penetration. So next up we're gonna be shooting 32 Winchester Special. Uh, you might not be familiar with that cartridge. It is very, very similar to 3030 Winchester. About the same performance. Um, this is gonna be a slightly bigger bullet though at 165 grains. We'll be shooting out of this Marlin 336. So you got a nice good impact here on the left side now. Open up quite a big cavity. Interestingly enough, this actually kind of more fragmented all the ceramic uh, rather than over here. A lot of it came out in large chunks. There's just tiny little pieces coming out of here now. Um, on the back, there's actually less of a divot than there was for the 5.56, maybe only about a quarter of an inch indent. 
Again, you're gonna feel that, but definitely stopped it. All right, so now we're starting to get to the bigger rifle calibers. Next one is gonna be 308, or more technically 762 NATO. Um, standard mil serp ammo. We're gonna be shooting at this uh, G3 clone. I'm gonna be shooting this a little further back than previously because it's scoped, so it'll be about 35 yards or so. Also, there's nothing special about this ammo. It's just standard 147 green ball. Wow. Okay, so that was our shot right there. Uh, something interesting happened. Shoved one of the ceramic blocks right out of the top. So it looks like they packed the edge of their armor of foam. But yeah, that's one of the, one of the entire ceramic blocks. That's ah, stuck in there pretty good. Uh, made a nice cavitation. Backside lump, actually about the same size as the 5.56, which is a little thicker, but it's a little smaller. As we can see here in the sandbag, there was no penetration, but definitely hit that spot hard enough to actually have the force to rip a small hit hole in the sandbag behind it. But again, there was no penetration there. I was just all the force of the bolt, just hitting this hard enough, kind of created a small tear there. All right, so for the last caliber, we have uh, 4570 Government. Uh, this is actually a pretty spicy load. Um, this guy is about a 300 grain bullet going about 31, 3200 feet per second. That's pushing at 33 3400 foot pounds of energy uh it's kind of significantly more than what you would get out of most uh, uh 45 cent you get out of a box but for these loads it's pretty much pushing to the maximum it'll just be a soft metal point other than that the rest of the round is jacketed so go ahead and put this at the target Well, I hit the target, which is a little closer to our 5.56 hole than I actually wanted to do. This guy right here, ooh, actually still a little warm. <laughs> nice, good hole in there. Up, oh, it's actually a little bit of jacketing still in there. Ow! Uh, little piece of that jacket left. <laughs> and that, let's see. Oh! That was a good bulge. That's protruding about a full inch so far. Again, I did hit it accidentally almost right on top of the 5.56 round, so I was already through previously damaged armor, but still, no penetration whatsoever. Although, probably would have gotten pushed back a foot or two. That would not have been fun to get hit by. <laughs> so as you can see, I left this area in the center somewhat clear of shots. I mean, the armor is still definitely fractured in there, but what I want to do is now, with what's left of the plate, shoot the center with alternating 5.56 five, and then 7.62 NATO and keep going back and forth until we finally have a plate failure. All right, so after that last shot came and checked, looks like I hit low, but we finally have penetration right there. Ugh. Shake some of that ceramic out. Let's see. Yep, right there, you see that little hole. I shot a little low, so it's, again, some of the damaged armor below. For the last little test, it took a 5.56, a 7.62, and then another 5.56 before it failed. So, Overall, this plate, before failing, took 122 LR, one 9 by 19 round, three 5.56 five, rounds, 32 wind special, two th uh, 7.62 NATO rounds, and a 45.70. Out of a ceramic plate, I'd say that's pretty impressive. 
So as you can see, uh, I'm short one more armor plate. Um, that good one is now down range to replace the old one we just destroyed. So next part of the torture test is going to be the spicy loads. So this is my uh, silver tip 308 again for YouTube. Totally not armor piercing, totally uh, not incendiary. Uh, for those reloading nerds out there, it's a 155 grain bullet. Velocity I chronoed about 2650 FPS, so it's definitely going to be booking it. I'm going to be shooting, hopefully not overlapping the bullets, but I want to try to shoot more towards the center of mass on that target. Um, to see how many of these rounds it takes to actually fill the armor. I'm hoping it can survive at least one of these. Maybe two, but I'm very iffy on two. Uh, we're going to be shooting again at the G3 clone from range about 35 yards. Well, I didn't quite hit right where I wanted to, but still good enough center of mass. We caught it, boys. First set of armor to catch my 308 silver tips. We're not sponsored by Mayor Tactical, but uh, I think I'm sold on these armor plates. So I'm gonna keep trying to shoot center mass here, keep all damage in one spot, see how many more of these this thing can take. All right, did it survive the four pit here? No, we finally have penetration on the fourth 308 silver tip round. And right through, as you can see, we hit one, two, three, four, try to keep all the damage in the same place to keep damaging the same parts of the ceramic. But we finally have penetration. <laughs> so I was digging around the sandbag afterwards. I actually found the core of the bullets. So this is the steel core and those uh, silver tips. Got it buried a couple inches back in there. <laughs> all right, yeah, so to conclude, uh... These plates definitely went above and beyond what I expected that they would be able to tolerate, especially for everyone says, oh, ceramic plates, they break in like one or two shots, or good for a one or two hit, other than that, you gotta throw them away, but I mean, if you do get hit with one of these, I don't suggest using for long term, but if you're in a prolonged firefight, these are definitely gonna do a pretty good job of protecting you. Again, as I said, I'm not sponsored by Mirror Tactical at all for um, testing these plates, but after seeing this, I'm definitely gonna buy another set for myself and throw in my own carrier. Um, these retail for about $250 per plate on Mirror Tactical's website. You can go there and purchase them if you'd like. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's like for most standard threats that you're gonna be encountering, um, steel level three, level three plus plates are pretty adequate for what they are rated for. They will do what they say, but if you want ultimate protection, uh, Level four plates are definitely the way to go if you can afford them or even find them in this uh, economy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, torture test's armor. Hope you everyone learned something and definitely help guide their choice on their own body armor. <laughs>